I work with uh, groups of people that have significant cognitive and behavioral problems. Uh, and so my hope is that by understanding the molecular basis of those problems, we'll be able to design treatments to actually uh, improve cognition or language or behavior uh, in the children or in adults. Um, people with Williams syndrome are overly social which is a kind of a nice feature, um, but they also have intellectual disability, very high levels of anxiety, um, attention deficit disorder, uh, language problems, all sorts of things. In the Williams syndrome community, I think we're probably the major molecular research lab that works on Williams syndrome, mainly because we integrate different disciplines because we're not just doing genetics, we're also doing behavior, uh, you know, expression studies, uh, uh, DNA methylation, epigenetics. Um, and now neuroscience and neurobiology. Much of what we do is very collaborative. Um, I think the days where people can just sit in their labs and do their own thing are gone, to be honest, for most people. Um, most people cross disciplines and research areas with their, um, with their focus of study, and we certainly do. Um, we collaborate with people both in the building, um, uh, in the city, and throughout the world. So my clinical collaborators are in the US, um, but I have students who work very closely with people in the building and people at Sick Kids uh, to, to learn different techniques um, and to bring those techniques to bear on, on our research questions. There are two sides to, to being a student. There's, there's lab work and critical thinking. I would say that every student that's been through my lab is uh, either involved in science outreach or they are teaching assistants for courses, every single one of them, going, going to schools um, and, and doing experiments and showing the high school or elementary school kids how it all works. For the disorders that I work on, families have meetings where they all get together, um, either in the States or in Canada. Uh, and so I always go to those meetings and we usually give talks for the families. So I, I make sure that every student's been to at least one of those meetings. So I think it's very important that they also see the people that we work with, you know, rather than them just having a little anonymous sample in the lab. I think it's it's important for them to experience what difference we could make to these people's lives. I've had graduates that work at Sick Kids in molecular diagnostics, teaching, health sciences related jobs. I think it doesn't matter what you're particularly what you intend to do when you've finished your training, I think it's the training itself. I've been working on Williams syndrome for 20 years. Well, I think not every problem can be solved, um, but there are certainly ways to go about trying to solve most of the problems. Um, I mean, you can address parts of the problem in, a, in an individual manner on a small scale, and hopefully together the answers to those things will add up to the answer to the problem, but um, problems will not always be solved. <laughs>